So if y'all watched my videos before, y'all know about every single one of them starts out with me saying, all right. All right, what's going <laughs> so, on? We got Forest Wood Cup champ over there doing the intro today. He's gonna kick this whole thing off because uh, we are right in the heat of today's topic. Welcome to Stone Cold Kyle Welcher's YouTube channel. Today you're gonna learn about May Bates from Elite Series Pros. More like an Elite Series Pro and a kid from Alabama, from Northern Alabama. Cause I hadn't called him like an Elite Series Pro, but we're gonna get that under control. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. This is, a, this is Elite Series Pro, Justin Atkins. Forest Wood Cup champ. Forest yeah. Wood Cup champ. This kid from Alabama. There and he is going to give us our top three May baits. So my top three May baits. The fish like to get out in May. So I'm going to start out with a dredger. A Berkeley dredger, a 25.5. That's a new color they got out. I actually don't even know if it's out yet, but maybe it will be by the time the video airs. If it ain't out now, it's going to be out by the video. Wait, and where do you throw that up? Uh, just south deep on ledges on Tennessee River. Um, and then I like a Berkeley Power Worm. I always start throwing it end of April, 1st of May. That one's blue fleck color. Throw it on a 3 8 I throw it out deep around schools or in brush. And then I also like to throw a mop jig. And I put a Berkeley Power Hog on it. And I don't know, I just like the rubber skirt. I feel like it's kind of aggressive and it catches big ones this time of year too. Out deep? Out deep. So in May, you are always in May. I'm, I'm throwing in the abyss. So that's where I like to fish in May. Kyle, you agree? My three is going to be a little bit different. May is a time of year where you kind of get to do whatever you want to do. There's going to still be a few spawning in most parts of the country. There's going to be bluegill spawning, shad spawning, fish out deep, fish mid-range, there's fish in brush, fish in lay down trees, fish in grass, fish on docks. There's pretty much fish everywhere in May and they're kind of a transition type of year. So for me, a type of time of the year, for me, I like to have fun when I fish. I like to watch them eat it. I like frog bites, swim jig bites, and I like catching them flipping. So he went all out deep that's all he's gonna do in may because that's what he likes to do i like to fish about that deep and i usually like to watch them come up and bite my dang bait so we'll rip out whip out my three favorite lures and show y'all exactly what i like to do in may because this is one of the most fun times of year to fish is may and june i really think june is one of the best shallow bites in my area of the country a lot of the pressure is gone from the bank a lot of people are fishing offshore and it seems like you can really catch them really good in late may early june but for may we still gonna fish shallow a lot of the time. Numero uno, right there. If the water temp is over about 55, <clears throat> if the water temp's- I, I was thinking that none of your YouTube followers have seen that frog video. What frog video? The video where the frog got me. We should put that on the video. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't in May though, Hunter, so it can't be this one. Very soon, Hunter got attacked by a vicious frog. And that's going to make a video at some point. But number one, if I had to pick one bait to throw in the south. Now, if I'm in a tournament, this is going to change, obviously. But one bait to throw around the house where I live, this is going to be it. It's a Spro Poppin' Frog 60. It's the standard size, the original Poppin' Frog. It's my absolute favorite thing to throw. May, June, July, August, September, October, December, January, February, March, all them times of years. If I could get a bite on this thing, it's my absolute favorite. But in May specifically, it's a really good way to catch them. Anyways, throw this on 60 pound Sunline braid. This is the X Plasma. 8 to 1 gear ratio reel, 7 foot 6, heavy, fast action rod. I get a ton of questions on which frog rod I use. I'm a little bit taller and I fish a ton, so I'm really used to the 7 foot 6. If you can't get away with throwing a 7 foot 6, you can go to a 7 foot 3 heavy anything along those lines but i like the seven six heavy i just feel like whenever i hook them and when those when i'm going three miles an hour on the trolling motor and that fish bites that frog and is swimming at me i like to have that little bit of extra length so that whenever i set the hook i just pull up a little bit more line so that's why i throw the rod that i throw on a frog seven foot six heavy let's dig out another one what do we got here is one that for me targets the shad spawn big time. This is a swim jig. This is a new one from Untamed Tackle. This is called the Apex. This is on 60 pound Sunline SX1. 
I just put this braid on. I really feel like the SX1 is some of the softest braid. Whenever it's brand new, it throws the best. So that's why I like to use that whenever I'm re-spooling a lot. This is a seven foot three medium heavy rod and eight to one gear ratio reel. Now the reason I want to pick a swim jig is because those shad are still shallow a lot of times in May. You know, you can catch them around boat docks, grass, rock, everything. And this is just one of the best ways to catch them. This one right here is a 5 16 size and I'm going to target the shad spawn. I'm going to target those little places where the shad are still lingering. Anywhere where I've seen shad, you know, the wind's blowing over, over a dock or something and I see shad around, that's where I'm gonna pick this up. That's number one and number two. And then after that, it's at the very bottom of the pile. Let's see if we can grab it. Should I take a look in there for your fork baits? No. Can't look in here. Don't look. Don't look. Number three. This is really a lot of times one of my most productive ways to fish in May, unless we're on a lake like we are this week, Lake Fork, where it's kind of tough to get a bite flipping. But I like flipping in May. It's like whenever those fish get done spawning, they want to go to the most immediate, thickest, deepest, darkest cover that they can find. And a lot of times I like to have me a, a flipping setup laying there. So whenever I do come across some thick cover close, close to spawning areas, I can pick this up and I can flip into that deepest cover. So this is a 3 8 ounce with a 5 alt straight shank gamakatsu hook. I actually put the hook keeper on this hook, kind of customized it a little bit. 22 pound Sunline shooter, 7.6. This is actually, I just started using this rod. I've been flipping that 13 fishing invader a ton lately. And I got on that bite last summer whenever the bite was a little bit tough and I really feel like post spawn when those fish are kind of in that funk, it's a bait that gets a ton of bites. So I wanted to kind of scale down my tackle a little bit, be a little more finessey with it because I feel like I'm getting a lot of bites I didn't used to get. So I got a 3 8 ounce weight, 22 pound Sunline shooter and I went to a 7 6 medium heavy rod because that invader is kind of a thinner plastic. I don't have to have that meat stick rod like you do with some beaver bait. So really kind of downsized my rod a little bit to a 7 6 medium heavy. and. That's the setup right there. If I can catch them in May the way I want to catch them, it's going to be this right here almost all day and throw that frog in that swim jig for the first hour or two. So that's my setup. 8 to 1 gear ratio on all these. Big line on all these. May is like I said. You get to catch them however you want to catch them. Like you fish your strengths. You can fish how you want to fish in May. And these are just the three baits that I would like to fish all the time if I have my choice. So that's why in May, these are my three picks. So are these the most productive three? Depends on the lake you're on. If you're on somewhere where they get offshore really good, you've got to put this stuff down. But for me, if I'm going fun fishing, these are the three I want to throw.